Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about Marconi's cough rule and the anti-Marconi's cough rule. Yesterday actually we have gone through that alkene converted into haloalkene. In that only Marconi's cough rule involved. But still I got a comment. We want one more video for Marconi's cough rule. So I have given in this way the difference between comparing with so it will be better idea. We may get a better idea when we compare always or if we see the difference. Yes, fine. Let us go for it. Marconi's cough rule. Marconi's cough rule, especially we can take the formula for alkene. Which alkene? Unsymmetrical alkene. What is the formula for unsymmetrical alkene? CH3, CH double bond, CH2. Yes, this is unsymmetrical. Ma'am, that means symmetrical means what it is. See, symmetrical means both the side it should be equal. Can, we, can you give an example? CH2 double bond, CH2. If you cut also both the side the same. But here if you cut, this will be... CH2 here, CH3, CH. So, this is the way you can identify. Yes. Now, unsymmetrical alkene only we are talking about. So, unsymmetrical alkene combined with the hydrogen halide. So, here hydrogen bromide we have taken. So, what is the product you are getting? CH3, CH. Here, Br, CH3. Yes, you got it. Okay, now what happens here? How it's going to rearrange? So here always H plus ion, B or minus ion. Okay, that you remember. So whenever you are going for that reaction, how that reaction takes place? That is very important. So easily we can identify what product we are going to receive that. Okay, now H plus ion, B or minus ion. That is bromide ion where it will go and attach wherever lesser number of hydrogen there it will go and attach right now h plus ion it will go and attach where there is more number of hydrogen bromide ion that is a negative reagent substituent group which is going to attach with the lesser number of hydrogen and h plus ion which is going to attach more number of hydrogen. Okay, that is the main point. Yes. Now, what is the name of it? 2-bromopropane. 2-bromopropane. You are getting for this. Okay. Now, here, anti-Marconi's cough stool. Anti-Marconi's cough stool also the same Reagent. See that alkene combined with hydrogen bromide in the presence of peroxide ion that it is going to take place. Okay. Now here CH3, CH double bond, CH2. What is the name of it? Yes. Got it. Okay. That is propene. Yes. Propene combined with hydrogen bromide in the presence of peroxide peroxide one example ma'am yes i can hear so here what it is i'll give that example c6 h5 c double bond o here o and one more thing o c double bond o c6 h5 c oxide Per oxide, for each thing there will be one oxygen. See here one, here one. So per oxide. So what is the name of this? Yes, it's benzoyl, benzoyl per oxide. Okay, now this is a form, that is what it is. Catalyst, this is a catalyst. Yes, fine. Now what is the product we are going to get it? Yes, just to the opposite. Yes, CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. Yes, so what is the name of this? Yes, yes I can hear. 1 bromo, 
protein. Yes, okay, this is 2 bromo propane. That is secondary carbon here, primary carbon. That is the first one. Now, how it is going to attach with that? So, always H plus ion, Br minus ion. So, the negative charge, where it will go and attach? Wherever there is a more number of hydrogen. Why? Because peroxide ion. Now, that H plus ion, where it will go and attach? It will go and attach with that lesser number of hydrogen ion. So, Br minus, which is going to attach with that more number of hydrogen atom. H plus ion, which is going to attach lesser number of hydrogen atom. Yes, fine. Now, how is it possible? Always we need a mechanism. Yes. So, what is the mechanism for both the things? Here, Carbocation formation, electrophile attack, here free radical formation, because of that free radical, we are getting this compound, because of carbocation, we are getting this compound. Okay, now we are going to see to that, how that mechanism takes place in these two reactions, we are going to see to that, hope you are clear with that, what? Now we are going to see the mechanism of Marconi's Cox rule. Mechanism means you should follow some steps. Here only two steps are there. So what are those two steps? One it is carbocation formation. The second step it is attack by the electrophile. By the way, what is it electrophile? Electrophile, nucleophile and a long back you have learned it. Yes, I will tell you. What it is electrophile? Electrophile is nothing. It is poor electron poor that is electron deficient and nucleophile it is electron rich okay now i'll tell you later in that now i'm mentioning about here so here in that first one formation about formation of carbocation the second step involved attack Attack by the electro file. Okay. Now, how it's going to react? Now we are going to see. That. Now that carbon attached with three hydrogen, CH3 alkene formula. C here hydrogen double bond. C H2. Yes. Why I mentioned no? Like we can identify that how it's going to attack with that, that halogen, hydrogen halide. Hydrogen bromide. Two electrons, Lewis dot structure. Okay, now here one electron, here one electron. You have learned about Lewis dot structure, no? Yes, in that way only. Hope it is visible. Yes, fine. Now what happened? This is a double bond. So, this double bond, alkene, dominates that proton. So, what happened here? Bond breaks. When the bond breaks, here it has gone the electron. So, automatically, you are getting that formation of carbocation. Why it is getting a carbocation? Because it is donating the electron. When it is donating the electron, you are getting positive charge. When it is receiving, now what happens? This electron which is going to gain by the bromide ion. So, here what it is? CH3. Here CH positive charge. Here CH2 plus Br minus H plus and Br minus. Here H plus, how did you get? Here this electron, it is donated over here. This is attacked by, well, this is, it donates to that electron. So automatically here this electron, it donates. So automatically you are getting what it is. Here minus charge and here plus charge and here carbocation. So when there is a positive charge, it will go and attack. So this Reagent negative charge which is going to attack the carbocation. Yes, now this is CH3, CH 
positive charge that is carbocation CH2 combined with bromide ion yes this is going to attack over here now H plus ion which is going to attach over here so here what it is as I mentioned mark on its so what it is bromide ion it will attach but that where there is a lesser number of hydrogen, H plus ion that is positive charge which is going to attach more number of hydrogen ion. Yes, now what is the product? CH3, CH, Br, CH3. Yes, 2 bromo propane. Yes, you got it? Got an idea? Okay, this is unsymmetrical alkene converted into Hello alkane. So that is the Markonovskov's rule along with that mechanism. Hope you are clear. Okay. The next one what we are going to see. It's an anti Markonovskov's rule. Okay. Now we are going to see the anti Markonovskov's rule mechanism. Actually this mechanism is called free radical mechanism. Homolysis. Okay. Now what are the steps to be followed? First thing formation of free radical the second one well, that free radical makes the hydrogen bromide as a free radical and finally the bromide free radical which is going to attach with that alkene and you will get that halo alkene so these are the three steps okay the first step what it is peroxide ion formation the peroxide converted into free radical so what is it to peroxide i have given example benzoyl peroxide okay c6 h5 c double bond o o c double bond o c6 h5 so this is a peroxide okay now benzoyl benzoyl per homicide. Okay. Now, it is homolysis process. Homolysis, that's what I just mentioned here. Homolysis process. So, what happened homolysis process means the two electrons will be there, no? It will be going to their own places. So, what the bond breaks and it forms what it is? Carbon dioxide ion. So, here you will get what it is? Two carbon dioxide molecules. Yes, CO2. Yes, to CO2. Then remaining C6H5, C6H5. Of course, here one more thing is there. So 2C6H6 benzene. It's a free radical. It's a free radical. So you are getting this. This is the first step. Next one, that free radical, what it is? C6H6 free radical with HBr. Combined with this, this free radical, which will be break that and you are getting bromide ion free radical, right? And H plus ion. So, this bromide ion free radical, which is going to attach with that alkene, okay? So, here HBr free radical with alkene CH3 CH double bond CH2 you are getting so the bond breaks over here so automatically this free radical homolysis no which is going to attach with a higher number of hydrogen but this H plus ion positive charge which is going to attach with a lower number of hydrogen because of that peroxide ion because of the formation of free radical you are getting a straight chain major product ch3 ch2 ch2 cl sorry br br so what is this one bromo propane okay one bromo bromo propane Okay, now I hope you got an idea about Markovskov's rule, anti-Markovskov's rule. Markovskov's rule which is dealing with the carbocation and attacked by the electrophile. Whereas here, 
free radical formation of fero peroxide. Because of that peroxide, you are getting free radical. That free radical, it's going to attack that bromide ion. So bromide ion also getting free radical. So that is going to attach with the higher number of hydrogen atoms. Where there is higher number of hydrogen atom, there it is going to happen. Hope you are clear with this anti morconum scoff rule. Yes. Now, let us go for another naming reaction, which is very, very important. Each and every naming reactions are very important that we are going to.